Today, I'm going to answer a question from one of my subscribers on YouTube. If you are a data analyst, this particular video will definitely help you. On the screen is the comment this particular person left on one of my videos. So what this person wants to do is actually knowing how to generate image links. So if you look at my screen, you can see these particular images are very dynamic. So I have them on my PC, but I'm not actually using the ones on my PC. So I will have to upload those particular images to the cloud and actually use it. And it will make my dashboard to be very dynamic. So how do you upload your images to the cloud and use the link inside Power BI? You do not need to actually have a web hosting to have this done. All you need to do is to follow me step by step on how I am going to do this today. Then you can follow the same step to actually use it on your own personal projects. So all you need to do right now is to make sure you download all the resources I'm going to be using today, including the images I will be using so that you can try it all by yourself. So let's get down to my PC. Now go ahead and launch a browser, then visit this particular website right here. So once you're here, the very first thing you have to do is to make sure you set up an account with this website. So here is my account here, Data Audition. So the next thing you have to do after you might have gotten your account set up is very easy, use a Google account. So go ahead and click on new post. So new post, you can see where we have image photo or like photo or video. So you can see where you can actually drag and drop images right in. But we're going to choose this particular one, right? And it brings us here. Double click and you have the image here. To quickly add on that one, scroll down and you do this. And you go ahead and you get it done. So you have the resources downloaded to your PC. Make sure you do the same thing I'm doing. So we pick the third one, which is this one. So beautiful, right? And lastly, we go with this one with everything ready now so the next thing we can do is we can decide to add description for every images which is optional we are not trying to create any post right here so instead what we're trying to do is to spot this particular image and make it you know useful inside power bi so if you hover over any images you have in here you might be tempted to copy the link you are seeing right now to be used but this cannot this cannot be useful for us so for that let me show you the right way to do it go over to this particular part click on it and click on images so it will bring you here where you have all the images you have actually added to this particular website so if i click on this one now it gives me something like this so then right now i can go ahead and actually copy the link right here but which link are we going to use so we're going to be using this link that has png as part of it so just go ahead and copy it so other links has their own you know particular use like html now can be used for website or blog and other link as well so let's go with this one this one would work with power bi desktop so once we have copied we can go to where we want to use it let's just put this one inside microsoft excel so we copy for images that we have added so the one with png very importantly otherwise it would not work so after this one i'm going to show you how to delete your image from here in case you don't want it but one thing you have to remember is that if you delete it from here and you have made use of it before it's going to be broken wherever you might have used it right you should notice that so now let's say we want to delete this one now click over this delete and you confirm it it will permanently be deleted from here so we don't want that we click back on it and now what we want is the link we just go ahead and copy its link from here so now here we go finally we drop this we click on save and it is time for we to make sure we go to power bi and make use of this link and see if truly it would work for us so right here inside power bi desktop the very first thing we have to do is to make sure we click on the link look at it image link here is in sheet one i already have it inside power bi so if i click on it 
make sure you come over here under properties and make sure the data type is image url so if i click over here now you can see we have web so the one we're going to be using is the image url let's go back and correct it this very one right here so make sure you choose this very one so once you have done that let's go over to home again under home i'm going to choose this particular slicer i am going to bring this over here then bring these images into here i can select any one of my choice right okay next again is for we to test it out and see if this is going to work so i'll go over here and i'll scroll a bit down i'm going to get the new you know card so with my new card here the first now do is to bring in these particular images here so it's just going to appear as one so image two is what i've selected if i select three i have three right here but this is not giving us what we want and this is not why we are here so to correct it now let's go over to here and scroll all the way down until we see this particular image right so on that image we turn it on so if you click over here to browse it's going to take you to a computer to choose from but we don't want that we can cancel this so now what we want is to get the url used so go over here to the drop down and click and get this particular image url so next for you to click on this particular fx here so after that you click over first images and uh, you go all the way to the table where you have it it is this one then you click on the link so that is all so click on ok so now can you see it now very dynamic so let's go ahead and actually you know select the first one the second one the third one and finally the third one this is how it is so you can use this for anything you want to use it for inside pop your next step and it will be very dynamic okay let me just give you my bonus in case you want that so if you look at this particular home here this is a navigator to uh, different pages inside this particular dashboard i have right here and as you can see this image has background before i have it removed the quick way to do that without using any other programs like um, photoshop if you don't know how to use it let me show you the website come over to remove bg here and make sure you click on upload image then you choose the image you want to upload this very one here click on open or you can double click and over here is taking off this very one away from me can you see now the background is going to be gone it's gone you can click on add to add on that one let us add this very young lady as well so once the young lady has been added it's going to go through it and remove the background for us and that is all we want there might be a need that would arise that you might need to actually have a background removed this is the best way to actually do it and this is the best website that will do that for you without any hard work whatever so i believe this is going to work for you.